The body is such a wonder. It is equipped with processes that ensure survival and balance among the various parts of it. Indeed, it was created with an excellent orderly design. Blood clot formation is one of these process that ensure survival and ensure the balance of the various parts of the body. Yet, it is also equipped with a dark side of blood clot formation. There is a side where blood clot can bring about death, sudden death in a person. In fact, statistics show in the United States, there are 50,000 to 200,000 people who die of blood clot after surgery or after being bedridden. And that's why I, I feel obligated to discuss this matter with you so that you can be equipped with an information that could bring about an informed decision when you need it. The first thing that I would like to discuss here is what causes this blood clot that forms sudden death? Or what causes formation of blood clots that cause sudden death? Number one is inflammation. Inflammation is a trigger for blood clot formation. One of those that cause inflammation is surgery. When you have a sudden surgery, or let's say when you need surgery, the problem of blood clotting is very real. That's the reason why knowing this, this makes you better prepared to avoid blood clot formation that can bring about sudden death. When you have surgery or when you need surgery, it would be wiser to talk to your surgeon before the surgery. Maybe you can uh, talk to him and discuss the matter with him. And maybe you can suggest that you be assessed, you be examined, you be tested to find out if you have that tendency to form blood clot that can cause sudden death. The second reason or the second cause for this blood clot formation that can cause sudden death is not using your leg well or lack of walking this usually happens in people who are bedridden when you don't use your leg often formation of blood clots in the leg can happen this could form a break in the leg blood clot in the leg can break and when this break when a piece of it breaks it could be transported either to the lungs which is termed pulmonary embolism or this could go let's say to the heart or to the other parts of the body and this is called thrombosis this pulmonary embolism and this thrombosis can cause immediate death in a person. This is the reason why doctors after surgery or when you are in a hospital, they would usually encourage you to walk immediately after the surgery because blood clots can form if your legs are not properly used. The other reason for blood clot formation is estradiol. Estradiol is a female hormone and 
estradiol can be no problem if progesterone is enough in a woman. But the problem lies is when estradiol becomes so high and progesterone becomes so low that there is no balance in the proportion of this estradiol and progesterone. An example of this is when a woman is having hormone replacement therapy. Estradiol in a hormone replacement therapy, especially if it is given in high dosage, can actually trigger the formation of blood clot that can cause sudden death. That's the reason why women who are having a hormone replacement therapy must see to it that they are often checked of their estradiol content and their progesterone content. Among men, there are also little amount of estradiol. But as long as testosterone is enough, there is no problem. The problem comes when men, older men for example, tend to lack testosterone. And when this happens, when testosterone becomes reduced, it forms into estradiol. And this is the time when estradiol in men becomes problematic. They can also cause blood clot formation. The other cause of blood clot formation that can cause sudden death is a constitutional factor. Constitutional factor, five laden factor. This five laden factor, as I've said, is an abnormal gene that triggers the formation of excessive blood clot, which is called hypercoagulability. When you have a tendency for hypercoagulability, then you have the tendency to form excessive blood clots, which can cause sudden death. Among Caucasians, they say that 5% of them has 5% laden factor. Among Hispanics and Afro-Americans, they said that it is less occurring in them. And Asians are probably the most fortunate because they say that it is very rare among Asians. If you are informed about this and you are watchful and careful like you have to have tests you would be needing surgery having a hormone replacement therapy both among women and among men and as you grow older especially if you are caucasian hispanics or asians there is always that advantage to be watchful and to exercise prudence in taking precautionary measures. I hope that this contribute to the information that you have and that this will help you take measures that would prevent blood clot formation or hypercoagulability in you. Now, the last thing that I would want to share with you is how can we prevent this blood clot formation that can cause sudden death without drugs. Number one is take turmeric. Turmeric with your dishes 
say your traditional nourishing diets is sure enough to prevent inflammation. Please do remember that turmeric is not bioavailable to the body unless it has compounds that makes it bioavailable like for example the presence of piperine or black pepper the presence of oil like coconut oil the presence of onions that make turmeric easily absorbed by the body another natural remedy that can prevent blood clot formation that can cause sudden death is natokinase. Natokinase is a compound that is formed in fermented natto. No other legumes can be a source of natokinase except the fermented natto, which is very popular in Japan. Taking natto in your diet is a potent way to prevent formation of blood clot that can cause sudden death. The other natural remedies are spices that are not just for the delicious or the addition of flavor in our nourishing diet. And one of this is ginger. We know that ginger is a blood thinner, so it can stop the formation of blood coagulation or stagnation of the blood. Asians are very fond of having ginger in their dishes. That's why that is very good to include in our diet. The other is garlic. Just like ginger, garlic can also be used in our diet in our dishes and this contribute to the prevention of blood coagulation or blood clot formation. The other natural supplement to take and prevent problematic blood coagulation is vitamin E. Taking vitamin E supplements can thin the blood and this can also prevent blood clot formation that can cause sudden death. I hope this contributed to your information, which could bring health and wellness in you. Thank you very much, and may God bless you.